Right now, I'll tell you what, 2015 is a very, very fresh start for all of us out there. And whether you've just recently graduated or you're planning on moving your career towards other avenues, you've got to get that CV just, just right. So this morning, we're chatting to Talon, Talon Perdikas, who's a senior recruitment consultant at Recruit Digital. And she's here to give us advice on that, the do's and don'ts of those interviews that you go to, and also how to seal that deal to make sure you get your dream job. Talon, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. So let's start at the very, very beginning. How do you create that attention-grabbing CV? Well, you've always got to ensure that your content is, is correct, it's very precise, and it's always relevant. Yeah. Then you should start by highlighting your key achievements, your relevant skills, and work experience, and then it's always good to include one or two references. Mm -hmm. There are two schools of thought when it comes to adding a photo. If you do add one, just ensure that it's very professional. Yeah, not and Instagram no, filtered no, no selfie. No, no bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> and always spell check. Okay, yes, yes. So, how, I mean, at the end of the day, you want to get a job at a company that you are interested in, that you actually want to work for. So how do job seekers out there ensure that they get those interviews at the companies they're interested in? Well, we can't always ensure it, mm -hmm. but, but to improve your chances, you should always tailor your job application for each individual job you're applying to. Yeah. It's also good to follow the company on social media to okay. get a better understanding of who they are, and you can also find out when they are hiring. Mm -hmm. On that note, always make sure that there's nothing out there in the internet realm that you wouldn't want your interviewer to see. Ah, yes, very <laughs> important because once it's on the net, it's on the it's net, on right? The so net. those party yeah. pics you're taking yeah. and selfies you're posting, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've got that interview at the company that you want, how do you prepare to make the best impression first of all? And what also, what are those do's and don'ts of interviews? Well, I'd always research the role and the company you're going to see very mm. in-depthly and then prepare some questions regarding the role and the company that you'd like to ask your interviewer. Um, rehearse some of those key interview questions and refine your answers prior to the time. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I guess just give yourself some contingency time so you can walk into the interview calm and collected. Yes. Because being late just starts it out on a bad Yeah, don't arrive there five minutes before the interview because no. that just only serves to make you more nervous. And they also say when you walk in, a nice and firm handshake yes. well, is a some, good way to start. Yeah, some of the do's definitely a strong handshake. Yeah. Make eye contact. Um, make sure your body language is very positive and just be as prepared and professional as possible. Yeah. Don't don't go to an interview hungover. Um, don't <laughs> Who swear. Who does that in 2015? <laughs> Honestly, really? I think you'll be surprised. Um, <laughs> don't swear or chew gum. Yeah. And never ever talk badly about past employees or colleagues. Wow. Okay. So those are some do's and don'ts. So I think a lot of people, in, you know, you go into that interview and and you you walk out and you're like, oh man, that question, I should have just phrased it differently. What do you do when you walk out and you feel like the interview didn't go as well as you planned it? Well, an interview is basically, it's, it's there so that both parties can assess each other. Yeah. And a good interview is a two-way conversation. If, if you really felt, you know, it, it didn't go well, I would just say try get out and back into another interview as soon as possible okay. and, and stay positive. Don't, yeah. don't let that hinder you and be nervous forever going forward. Yeah. And then, and then also, so, so what, what if you get a second interview? Now you need to kind of seal the deal because you've mm -hmm. now made, it, you made the cut. What, what are the things to do then? Um, well, a second interview is normally put in place either because the client has reservations about you mm -hmm. and they want to iron those out, or because they really like you and they'd like to continue the conversation. So you've just got to ensure that you're prepared for either of those scenarios. Yeah, yeah. And during those nervous times where you're kind of waiting for that callback, what's the right amount of time to wait to say, well, I should have heard back from them now. If I haven't, then I should maybe just move on to the next one. Well, it all depends what's been discussed with you prior to the interview. If they've given you a day, set a date that you're going to receive feedback, yeah. wait till that day. If not, I'd follow up with an email after about a week, just saying, I really enjoyed the interview, it was great to meet you, and when could I expect some further feedback? Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's quickly just maybe give some people advice out there. If you are in your current job and you're unhappy, but you're looking to kind of just slide away quietly while applying for another one, you don't want to burn any bridges, how do you do that successfully? Well, luckily, there's normally enough lead time to ensure that you can take a half day because mm -hmm. what you don't want to do is, um, you know, you don't want that interview to conflict with current responsibilities or deadlines. So 
either take a half day or tell the client or the recruiter you're working with that ideally the best times for those interviews are before or after work okay. or during your lunch break. Yes. You just never want to let anyone down. <laughs> That's very, yeah. very true. Uh, thank you very, very much, uh, Talon. We really appreciate it. That is uh, cool. Talon Perdikas, who is the Senior Recruitment Consultant at uh, Recruit Digital, talking to us about how to get your CV prepared. And it's always, uh, I think, a very good thing to remember to never stop trying. So send your CV out there to as many companies as possible and obviously only those that you're interested in and want to work for. And it's always a good idea to also sign up with a recruitment agency. In fact, if you want more information, check out Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. That's our Facebook page. We'll have Talon's details over there. Right now, let's find out what's coming up. Graham.